right, so let's just jump in and look at contextual editing. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the context panel by clicking on one of the jobs here from the swim lane. Note how that instantly launches a panel to my right here, and immediately we get some additional job information. We can see the job number, the job description, when the job is scheduled. We can see the avatar of who is allocated, Anthony here. Um, it's currently dispatched. It has an urgency of critical. And we've got some additional icons here as well, which will tell us things like the time constraints associated with the job, if it's recurring or not, or indeed if there are any dependencies related to this job. So in addition to the uh, job detail information, there's additional uh, sections here. So we can just go ahead and collapse the uh, initial panel. And you can see I've got some custom fields set up here. So this is an, an environmental impact assessment that Anthony's going to go out to. So he's actually going to meeting room 4C. So you'll have all of this information available to him in the Schedule O mobile app. In addition, he can see the current environmental audit rating here, uh, of which we can additionally change if we wanted to. Um, so these are all editable uh, in the side the context panel. We can see additional detail about Anthony, as well as the tasks that have already been created as part of the, uh, the job type that's been selected. We can even attach um, our attachments here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach a sitemap so Anthony can get uh, the full picture of um, the assessment that he's doing. And once the job's completed, we'll get all of the um, time and date information around when Anthony um, you know, started his travel to when he completed the work. When it's part of a recurring schedule as well, we also get this additional banner here. So we're able to quickly and easily navigate over to the recurring schedule if we wanted to make any changes. And in the top right corner of the context panel header, you'll find the actions menu. From here, you can perform various actions related to the job, including dispatching it or creating a duplicate. So immediately we have a lot more job information available to us without having to leave the swim lane. We've even got things like the job details, which we can indeed uh, make changes to on the fly. So if we wanted to come in and adjust the description, uh, add some additional notes or comments, update the urgency. Because this job is part of a recurring series, we get offered the choice whether or not we want to make this change just to this work item or to every job in the series. I'm just going to choose this work item. And finally, we get the additional detail of the time constraints and dependencies at the bottom of the context panel. But do remember they are available at the top of the screen here as well in the header. So schedulers no longer have to uh, navigate between the job detail screen and the swim lane to get additional context or additional important information to uh, power their scheduling decisions. Right, well, that's what we have to show you on the context panel. 